Hi, I'm Deborah from Kitchen Sense and Information, your source for food tips from the food pros for your kitchen and your food. Today we're going to talk about how to save money on your grocery bill. We'll start with the list of what you can't freeze because it is really short. You will be surprised. Raw potatoes, they don't freeze well. The texture goes funny. Um, cooked egg whites don't freeze well. They go kind of rubbery and the texture is not very pleasant. Uh, sandwiches, if they're made with mayonnaise, do not freeze well. Freeze well. Mayonnaise does not freeze well, as well as anything made with mayonnaise does not freeze well. Homemade fried foods do not freeze well. Raw vegetables do not freeze well either, they go soggy. But what I do, if I have a lot of raw vegetables lying around, I cut them into the size I want for the use I'm gonna put them to, and I put them into a container of the size I want for the use I'm gonna put them to, and I put them in stews, I put them in soups, I put them in my smoothie in the morning. And because they're either gonna get cooked or pureed anyway, it doesn't matter that they go mushy in the freezer. And I do the same thing for salad greens, kale, spinach, all of those kind of cucumber soft things that normally you wouldn't freeze. I chop them up, put them in a container and I freeze them and I use them in my stews and my smoothie and they're fine and it's great. Or lasagna, you've got leftover spinach, freeze it and put it in your lasagna because it's gonna get cooked anyway. So the, the fact that it goes mushy doesn't matter. If you have harder vegetables like beans and peas and things like that, you can turn up, you can blanch them and then you can freeze them. They will go a little softer, but they will not go completely mushy. But if you don't blanch them, they will go completely mushy. And then the only use is in something where the, the mushiness is fine and it's part of the natural texture of the food. Frosting or icing made with raw eggs doesn't freeze well. Gelatin and jello, anything made with gelatin and jello doesn't freeze well. And that is the whole list. It's really not long. So now we're going to talk about what you can freeze. There are things you can freeze where there will be a slight texture change. So we'll talk about those first. Raw fruits, they will go mushy. Sour cream will separate a bit, but it doesn't matter if you stir it up and put it into a soup or a stew. But if you're just gonna serve it as a side dish with potatoes or tacos, you might not like the fact that the water has separated a bit. Raw egg yolks, they go a little hard, but you can freeze them. They just won't be great in something like a quiche. Um, raw eggs, same thing, you can, you can freeze raw eggs, you take them out of the shell, you stir them up, you freeze them, and you can use them in most baked goods, unless it's something like, like, a, like a souffle where you need a really big rise. Uh, meringue, you can freeze meringue as long as you keep it tightly covered so that it doesn't absorb humidity from the, from the air. Uh, and fresh cheeses like paneer, they don't freeze well. So once again, the water tends to separate out. That's the list of stuff that you can freeze, but there will be a noticeable texture change. The next topic is you can freeze almost anything. And it's a big long list. And that's what we will talk about next time. If you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be happy to answer. If you have anything you want me to research, send me an email. I'm here to help you do the research for you. That's my business as a food expert. And uh, check out my Facebook page. You will find everything I talked about today on the Facebook page. Also, you'll have a PDF if you want to download the document and have a PDF. Be safe, stay well, buy in bulk, save your money, catch your waste. And I will see you next time.